Uh, tonight, NBC5's response begins in the same place where the Chicago Bears played last night. That's on the field with the Green Bay Packers and what looked like a huge financial loss for one consumer until he reached out to NBC5 response. Here's Lisa Parker. You could call it a leap of faith. For the toughest to find tickets in town, Bears Packers, a diehard fan turned to eBay and shelled out $2,400. What could possibly go wrong? That's a question none of us should ask in the year 2020. And Rodgers on the road to the eight zone Mercedes Lewis. Touchdown Green Bay. One of the most storied rivalries in NFL history led Steve McKay, a lifelong Illinois resident, to become a diehard Green Bay fan. When the uh, Cardinals left town in 1960, I went with the team that the Bears hated the most, so became a Packer fan back then. Over the years, Steve and his daughter have made it to dozens of Packers games at Lambeau Field, including the granddaddy of them all, Super Bowl 45. The Aaron Rodgers jersey with the Super Bowl tickets that I was able to go to that game. Not all games he attends are on such a grand scale, but with every home match since 1960 sold out and the season ticket waiting list 141,000 strong, Steve found another path to purchasing tickets on eBay. You just kind of hope when you get the green package that the Bears aren't going to be playing them the second or the fifth week. In the fall of 2018, he paid just over $2,500 for the green package. That's prime seats for six of the eight home games. The catch here, teams don't send out tickets until the next summer. Fast forward 10 months and no tickets arrived. That is when Steve tackled the mystery. I thought it was 2019, but it was 2020, which was my my error. That's right. This Packer backer mistakenly bought season tickets for games two years in advance. So he waited patiently for the 2020 season until the coronavirus took fans out of the stands. Two years after that $2,500 investment, Steve could find no trace of the seller, so says he reached out to eBay which then denied him a refund based on its ticket return policy, one that requires fast reporting of any problem purchase. Well, you know, how can you take a listing for something that's two years away and then not honor it? His Hail Mary, Steve reached out to NBC5 Responds, and we asked that very question. Why allow a listing so far in the future if your return policy won't cover it? eBay then reversed course, refunded Steve's green, and in return. They say it solved a lot of headaches for me. We'll mark that as a win on and off the field for Steve, who would have been at that game where his favorite team, I'm no Siafa Lewis, but shall we just say dominated? Now here's a better score for all of us with this victory. NBC5 responds fans have now recovered just north of $3.1 million. Lisa Parker, NBC5 responds. That is a lot of money, and our thanks to Lisa for doing Nicely such a great done. job, even though he is a Packers fan.